into our first game right now on the Rain Maker Blue Hill. And we see it on the side, I believe that is Texas Row with a Tri Slosher. And on the side of the Rail Gamer, the fourth position. Yeah, definitely. And we also see the Squeezer coming out. I believe it's gotten a lot more popular recently with the recent uh, Insta buff. But we see two down on the side of uh, Axis Row and we are gamers starting their first push. Already pushing the left side and the checkpoint here on the side of the uh, gamers. Really strong push here. They uh, Axis Row now has to uh, their uh, jet pad, their jet down, their ult is down. And now uh, they're having their left side pushed here. Uh, three down immediately. And uh, they're, uh, the Booyah Gamers are definitely going to try to see if they can get a quick knockout here to, to end the game. Yeah, Super Booyah Gamers is. <laughs> yeah, they got the five points and. Honestly, that's a really huge pu push on Undertow Rainmaker, but this game isn't over until there's a knockout. And we see just on the side of Booyah Gamers still trying to get out of their spawn. I think they finally clear out um, the spine area and are finally able to access mid. Yeah, a solid defense right there. Uh, any, any defense that defends a final knockout is, of course, exactly what you want in that type of scenario, no matter the, the cost. Uh, but they were thankfully able to push back into mid, so the game was able to continue. Yeah, we see it on the side of... Again, I think this is on the side of Axis Row. They're trying to start their first uh, their first push towards this left side, but the Rainmaker gets taken down before they even get to that left corner. And now, uh, back in a neutral position here, uh, both teams are just trying to uh, play for their specials because that's really the best way to move forward here, especially on Undertow where it's very risky to push up. Yeah, that. yeah, definitely. I think on the side of Axis Road, they're gonna take this a little more patiently this time. And but we do see on the side of Booyah Gamers, they're just setting up this crab tank for this defense and being able to clear out this right side and actually able to take down the Rainmaker with two down on the side of Booyah Gamers. Or access row, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it, it could be a little confusing. Um, but now both sides have two specials. Uh, they seem to be just trying to engage here, trying to make something happen. Uh, the gal does go down uh, on access row, and now uh, Booyah Gamers is going to try and play off of that. Uh, let's see what happens with the ball point. Now that they have ink jet, if they're going to try and see if, the, uh, if they can defend here. Now uh, Booyah Gamers has popped their jet a bit early for their push. Yeah, for sure. But we see this Chai Slosher on the top, top right side, just playing defense. And we see that on the side of Booyah, nope, that's Axis Row, has two specials ready to use. They use both their ink jets, but one of them actually goes down before they can even get into the air. A really good fight. They're still in the neutral position, but it's really nice to see some decent back and forth here. There's only a minute and a half left, so Axis Row is definitely going to uh, need something you can make uh, something happen fast here if they want to be able to score four points. Yeah, for sure. And Booyah Gamer is just doing a really good job playing this patient game. They know they don't have to push up any more than they already have to. So they're just playing for these specials and playing mid, making sure that Axis Row can't really push this Rainmaker. Definitely, especially on, on a Rainmaker on this late when you have this many points. There's not too much of a reason to even get pop here. Uh, but they do anyways, but really you just want to keep the Rainmaker in mid and, and stall it out for as long as you can since you already have uh, down to five points. Uh, but they go for it anyways and they have two down, but they do have a crab here uh, just in case uh, the worst happens. Yeah, for sure. And they use this crab to try to, I think, kill that um, tri strike user, but they unable to kill him. But still, two down on the side of Axis Row and they really need to start moving start moving the Rainmaker because there's only 30 seconds of the game left. A, a huge pick there. They uh, Denying 
Booyah Gamers, their crab is going to be huge for the end game, especially. And Zap is now down too. Axis Row seems to have one more chance here. Popping Jet, and then having a <laughs> two jets fighting in the air, uh, trying to direct each other, but unable to. Uh, Axis Row is now going to have to grab and see what they can do here. Uh, and they go down, and that is going to be the end of game one from this set. Yeah, we just saw on the side of Booyah Gamers, they took that early lead, a huge lead too, to five. And they knew they could just sit there and just wait wait it out while Axis Row was unable to really push past even towards that left side. If on a good stage, Splat Zones can potentially be an actually, actually a really nice uh, mode. Uh, Hagglefish Zones is, is, leads to, of course, pretty interesting games on its own. Um, but here we are going into game two of the set. Uh, uh, we can't. If we can, yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I believe we see on Axis Row on the blue side and Booyah Gamers on the orange side. Pulling out a leader here, a pretty aggressive leader position, all things considered. Usually you go up to that tent. Um, but here they're, they're playing pretty forward, putting some mines in the zone there early. Good choice. Uh, tactical or comp with leader usually leads to. To, uh, now it is. It turned into a 2v2 all of a sudden, uh, but the leader is still up, which is a, a nice a nice weapon to have up, up to give the solid jumps back in the mid. Yeah, definitely. And this leader is going to put a lot of pressure onto the zone. And actually, three down on the side of Axis Road. This is Booyah Gamer's uh, opportunity to keep pushing up and hold onto the zone. They're, they're making a, a really forward push here, which is a, a good choice given the stage. Um, uh, Axis Row? The, the blue team's gonna have to make a really uh, good play here with the jet. A nice pick there, but they're gonna have to move in very fast. And they are really trying to contest this zone right now. They should be able to, yes, they were able to cap the zone, so the game is able to continue. A, a really solid jet from um, both players here, especially the try. Yeah, definitely. And I think this e-leader will be key to try to push back in if the e-leader is able to take off one or two they're gonna um on the side of booyah gamers they're gonna be able to start pushing the zone we see the crab tank out early but no movement really when that crab tank was used still it is a very dangerous spot to be locked out on hagglefish if you don't have your positions right your teammates could easily get picked off and for the defending team here it was a. Uh, it was uh, only a matter of time since the two went down that they needed to back up. And um, now they are pushed back in their base, and uh, they're going to have to play around this jet pretty well. Yeah, definitely. Access, um, Booyah Gamers using that crab tank to exert a little more pressure, but Booyah, but Axis Row just using that ink jet to try to neutralize that crab tank. Uh, uh, another zone flip here. Both teams have a solid amount of pity. Uh, oh, and I think we got a 